When it comes to fields, the question is artificial turf or real grass? There are pros and cons to each, and WSU researchers are here in Western Washington trying to add to the list of pros for real grass. Say go. It's training camp. Hey, hey. Ah! For the CD Panthers. Hey, do that one again. We're back on five. We're back on five. The higher these athletes jump, now back up to this cone. The harder they land. There you go. Yeah. Good for their training. Bad for the grass. Come on, guys. Which is why most of them prefer the fake alternative. They left turf. Kids left turf. It's just what it is. Franchise Vice President Siobhan Robinson says for them, Ready. real grass fields are ultimately too high maintenance Shoot. and become a safety issue. Every time before they get on, we have to go on line and walk the field to make sure that there are no holes. Like this field they play on in central Seattle, which right now is mostly real dead grass. Get up, get up. This is a clear version of what and what not. She would love real grass for her athletes, but doesn't feel like it's a reality. It's okay, it's okay, it's your first time. So Washington State University scientists are trying to make it one, hoping to prove the grass is greener on the other side. If you want to just start setting them right over here. And there's no better place to test out a turf replacement than the Northwest. 90% of all the Kentucky bluegrass seed that is used in the world is produced in Washington, Oregon, and Idaho, and 80% is produced in Washington State. WSU researchers are planting identical fields both in Pullman and here in Mount Vernon. Some grasses will do well in eastern Washington, other grasses will do well in western Washington. Led by Professor Michael Neff. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm allergic to grass pollen. <laughs> the scientists are planting rows of three different types of grass. Tall fescue, and then we're going to go blue, and then right. Six rolls of each. Then we'll use a machine they've nicknamed Thumper to test durability. What we'll do is we will apply research grade traffic and wear on the sod, on the turf, and we'll examine how much we can do before it starts to die. All of this to encourage a move back to real grass fields. The whole goal of this research is to help people use real turf on sports fields instead of artificial turf. The push for real grass based heavily on the environmental benefits because the materials used to make artificial turf are full of chemicals. We thought, okay, recycle tires, that's a good idea, but it ends up that tires now have a compound in there, which when it reacts with the ozone, creates a toxic compound that kills salmon. So if you recycle your artificial turf and the crumb rubber into a landfill, and that water runs off into the rivers in, in western Washington, then we end up causing a can't salmon kill. Plus, turf is not recyclable at the end of its life. As far as we know, no artificial turf has decomposed completely in a landfill. Michael argues for a move away from turf, not just because of the waste it creates, but because it can run a dangerous 20 degrees hotter than real grass and does still need water to cool it off in the heat. He does acknowledge that real grass is not perfect in every situation. Take one sprinkler head. It needs water and maintenance. And some areas, especially out west, are too wet. But he hopes their research helps replace artificial turf with real grass in as many places as possible. What we want to do is encourage people under conditions where real grass would do well to use real grass instead of using artificial turf. There you go, run through. Like for the CD Panthers. Good job. Good job, brother. Where artificial turf may technically be greener now. Hurry, sprint, sprint. But Pump those arms. On the other side of this research, there you go. Sprint. real grass should be best. You messed up, boy. That would be great. I would be so up for it. I'd even say, can you come and put it in my house? Full speed, full speed, full speed. There you go, run through. So interesting. Mm -hmm. So people who love real grass know that it's hard to maintain. Yes. So how is this going to address that? Oh, yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? So that's part of the point of this research. The ideal outcome is that customers, anyone who needs a grass field, can consult this research and get matched with whichever grass is best for that situation. They'll look at how much rain they get, <coughs> excuse me, how often the field will be used, and, excuse me, Joyce, I'll let you take it from there. Okay, and another key part to keeping the grass happy is how much recovery time uh, you can give a feel between uh, heavy wear and tear, mm -hmm. right?